Hey everyone, welcome back. Today I will be cooking Nicole's sweet potato graham pie. Yes, this is a treat that my family has learned to love. So this recipe is based off of what I had at the time. I couldn't find a regular pie shell, so a family member offered to uh, stop past the store and bring me some, and I was so grateful and thankful. You know how it is when you're cooking for a special holiday or special occasion. You just don't have the extra time. And I had tried to find some, and I could not find any regular pie shells. So when they told me they had found it, I was relieved. I went ahead and started baking my potatoes. I like to put mine in the oven. I think it's a richer taste to them. And started gathering some ingredients. So along with um, the potato guys, I use this um, pure vanilla extract, cinnamon, nutmeg if I have it. If I don't, I might use some allspice, an egg or two, of course some butter. brown sugar. These are some of my favorite ingredients. And normally I like something milk based. Um, a lot of people use the evaporated milk or cream, but sometimes I just use what I have. This is um, cinnamon roll flavor, coffee creamer. And then I found this in the store. This wasn't even in the freezer section. This was on the aisle uh, where the dry products were. And look, you can make a punch out of this eggnog mixture. You can make a pound cake. And I did try it on some French toast. It was so yummy. So you guys stay tuned and see what they brought me. All right, you guys. So I've gone ahead and mashed my sweet potato. And um, so, yeah, back to my story. Uh, the doorbell rang, ran to the doorbell, had the oven going, things cooking. Like I said, it was a holiday. I grabbed the bag, I thanked them, proceeded back to the kitchen thinking all was well. Opened the bag and this is what I found. A graham cracker pie crust. I was like, oh, great. <laughs> so um, I said, well, oh well. I didn't think I was going to get to make it anyway, so why not? Let's go with what we have. So this is how I stumbled upon this recipe, Nicole's Sweet Potato Graham Pie, if you didn't already guess by the name. So let's assemble this. I'm a home cook. I don't do proper measurements. I just go based off of what I like when I taste it. So I like a lot of um, vanilla. I like to taste that. Mix that in. I'm just going to go with cinnamon. I like nutmeg, um, but I don't have it right now. Just going to go with some cinnamon. And the allspice, that's good, but I don't want it to be spicy. I want it to be a little mild. Allspice can be a little overpowering. I uh, have a little, you know, aftertaste to me anyway. So, then I'm going to add a cup of brown sugar. I use the light brown sugar, it doesn't matter. The darker light will do just fine. And I melted a stick of butter. Gonna add that. mix everything well and after I mix this um, I'm gonna taste it to see if it's sweet enough for me if it's not I'm gonna add some sweetener but um, like I said I have these products these milk based products tying the flavor really well guess I could measure this 
I think a cup will do. And this is really th uh, creamy. It smells so good. Do you guys like eggnog? We love it. <laughs> Not only do we drink it, now we cook with it. Like I said, I made some French toast using this. It was great. You really didn't need syrup. Yep. So, guys, I'll be back with uh, my mixture and my pie shell. And then we're going to bake it and you'll see the finished product. Okay, before I put it in the pan, I want you to know I'm going to add a little more cinnamon. I don't eat, need any more sweetener. The eggnog and the brown sugar did it all well. But I am going to add a secret ingredient. Okay, I've beaten two eggs. The eggs will bind it together. And... Da -da -da -da. Raisins. The raisins are going to make it sweet as well. So you guys have to stay tuned to see how this ground pie, sweet potato ground pie turned out. Here's the finished product. Now, I, the whole pie is still baking just a little, but I couldn't wait. It smells so great. So I went ahead and took it out and sliced a piece. And, um... Mm. It's a rich flavor, guys. Some of you may like raisins, some of you may not, but the raisins just add, just takes it up to the next level for me. It's great. Now, you can also add this. Don't look at me weird. Don't say, oh my gosh. I actually put this on the first time that I made it, it was actually marshmallows. I don't have any mini marshmallows right now. But, guys, with the raisins and a marshmallow, mm, mm, mm. it's a flavor bomb in my mouth and a good one at that. <laughs> Thank you guys for stopping by. I appreciate you. I applaud you for all your hard work. It takes a lot to do this, and there you go. All right, see you next time.